Right. In this video, we're going to go ahead and start setting up some basics. So this is going to be, kind of, this is basically what you see here anyways, is the uh, old way. And this is still a valid way because by default, the SKG part class does have some generic stuff for customization, as you can kind of see here. So like, the, well, obviously the class of itself, but the image, the name of it, and then if you really wanted to perform some kind of switch on the type to do what you want. But this is probably something we're going to do, I guess you could say, better in the next series when, like I said in the first video, when 4. Point, when UE4 is basically dropped from support and we move on to UE5 and I do like a proper overhaul, this will probably be something that we do from scratch just to kind of show you a better example. But for the time being, we're going to follow kind of this suit. So what we're going to do is on the event construct, we have our attachment class. What we want to do is we want to cast it to the FPS part, so or SKG part class, which actually comes up by default, which is kind of nice. From here, we can go ahead and get its default. So search for default. We have get class defaults. And if we break the part data, we have the part image and the part name. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our image. This will be our widget. We're going to search for set brush. And here you can see set brush from texture. And all we have to do is just plug it right in like so. So we can compile and save. And for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and remove that image there. Press play and hit sites. And here you can see we have nothing. That's because we have nothing set. So if we go to the sites, we'll just go ahead and I guess do the default. So here's our tutorial red dot. And I'm being blind as a bat. Yeah, I'm really being blind. Where in the world is it? Okay, I was just blind as a bat. So it's right here, part data. Yeah. But anyways, part image. Uh, we don't have any sort of thumbnails or anything for this guy. So what I'm going to grab is just search for a thumb. Actually, search for hollow site. And yeah, we'll just grab that. And I'll give this one the name of tutorial red dot. Even though we're not currently using that name. But anyways, now when I hit sites, here we can see we have, well, our tutorial red dot. And the one above it would be our magnified optic. So we're going to go ahead and just set these parts really quick. So here we have our tutorial scope. This would be the magnified optic. Set the image to, in my case, the attacker. So the thumbnail for the attacker. Then we have the forward grip. We'll just do search for vert. That should come up. Yeah, vertical forward grip. I'm just going to name this one tutorial vert grip. Forgot to name the optic, actually. So tutorial uh, magnified. Good enough. Then lastly, we have our Suppressor. So this is going to be our muzzle device. So search for suppress. Should have a thumbnail right there. And call this one tutorial suppressor. OK. So now we should be able to see everything. So here's our optic. Here's a muzzle device. And here's our forward grip. So that allows us to kind of go through and read well everything that we need. Now the one thing I do want to do is in our designer of the main widget, I want to give some kind of space here. So if you search the uh, search for space, basically, you can see we have a spacer. So I'm going to drag that into the horizontal box and move it in the middle. And this will allow me to kind of just more easily get some kind of padding. So if I give this a padding of, I don't know, five, should build a oh, there it goes. So I guess I just needed a bigger value. Anyways, if you do just some kind of random value, like let's try 20, it'll give a even space between them, kind of like so. So I do want to shrink that up a little bit because we're going to have some longer names here. So instead of 20, we'll just do we'll have it. We'll do 10 just so we can see a little bit of a split. All right, and I guess I actually need to do a little more. Or 
we can make our horizontal box a little bit bigger. So 5, 25. And then we can decrease our spacer because it grew with it to 5. Like so. There we have a little bit of a gap. And now if we really want to kind of clean it up, and in my opinion make it look a little bit nicer, we can go ahead and we can wrap this with a border. So with the border, do do. Go ahead and select the brush color, make it black, and I'm going to set it to 0.5. Might be a little much, but now we have kind of like this black little section here. And it, all right, that doesn't really make it look any better, but it's, well, it's there. It's here to stay. Again, this is not the full proper tutorial series for the firearm customization. Like I said, once I drop UE5 or UE4 support, when 5.2 launches and basically we're not even able to push anything to the marketplace for UE4 at that point. At that point, I'm going to be doing a complete proper overhaul and recording every step of it. So that proper overhaul is going to actually be what makes its way into the example content of the FPS plugin. So I think I said that in the first video, I just can't remember. But anyways, now we at least have it to where we have our different categories, well, different attachments, slots, so to speak, and all of the corresponding possible attachments that there can be. So that's going to wrap up this video, and I'll see you in the next one.